Hi everybody, it's Kiara here. Um, it is Monday, April 15th. Oh, yay, it's tax day. Actually, yeah, yay, it's tax day. Um, my name is Kiara. I am a New Yorker who lives in Northwest Arkansas. This is a cross-stitch floss tube. It's number 35, yay, number 35. Um, I want to start by thanking everybody for um, subscribing to my channel um, or stopping by and spending your time with me today. It's been about a month since my last floss too because I got in a rut and did nothing for weeks. I, I want to rephrase that. It's not that I didn't do anything, but I didn't do cross stitch and I didn't quilt. This is only the cross stitch portion. Um, I did go into one of my other hobbies that, that I'm passionate about, um, genealogy. Um, so that's good. Um, but I figured I had a few minutes today and I had, I did get my juices going again. So I said, let's film a floss tube today since I have some stuff to share with you. Number one, I want to thank a viewer who sent me some happy mail. Um, I don't think I showed this to you, but I am so excited about this. This is a Shannon Christine design, Christmas Manor. I have never done a Shannon Christine, but this just makes me happy and it screams Christmas and it's got a cardinal. So I'm excited to start this. It's gonna go in, I think I'm gonna start it in July um, and I'm gonna try to break it into sections and give myself some assignments. I'm not a great assignment stitcher, so there is that. And then I want to thank another dear, sweet friend who reached out to me on Instagram. Um, I had mentioned in my last floss tube that I wanted to try linen and I only had one piece of linen and I didn't want to try that as a test. She sent me the most amazing gift of all this linen, okay? And it's a very, it's a bunch of counts and I've already used some of it. This is a 35 count old Salem linen. I'm really excited to try this one. I kind of have a project in mind for it. Um, she sent me this um, 40 count, um, a bunch of different little pieces for smalls that I'm excited to try. Um, she sent me all different sorts. So there's this one. Actually, I have something that I might do this on and I'll show it to you. I'm actually gonna put that on the side. And then some are loose weaves, some are tighter weaves. It's really exciting. Um, there is this one, actually I like this one. We're gonna try, we're gonna do a floss toss with these two. And then she sent me this, she sent me two Be Stitch Me's. Um, she sent me this one, which is lightly salted, not roasted, which is kind of a parchment-y color, peachy color, which is great for samplers and neutrals. And I have found that I like to stay in the neutral range more than bright colors, unless I have something really specific in mind. And then she sent me a, um, a Bronze Age, and I have Bronze Age in Ada, and I think I even have it in Lugana or Joblin, but I'm like so excited for that. So thank you to my sweet, sweet friend. I'm like so ecstatic. I have to start a drawer for linen. Actually, it's gonna go with my even weave since I don't have that much of either. Um, next thing is finishes. I did have a few finishes if you followed me on Instagram. I find, I don't remember if I had told you guys, but I was trying to finish the nine patches um, from Primrose Cottage Stitches. And I did. So here's a piece of my linen. This was my one I did on linen and I loved it. And then I finished the rest. Here's December. I only had two more left, so it was December and there's a bunch of the other ones. So now I need to start finishing. I'm gonna finish them in pillows because I think I'm gonna have a dough bowl with all these in them. So there is that. So those are gonna go to finishes. Then I had one other finish. Um, because I was in such a slump, I filmed the last, I'll show you how much of a slump I was in. I finished my last floss tube a month ago on the 11th, okay? There's the week, then there's that. Okay, and look, I did it, and I did a couple. Then, 
if you look at these three, this is DAR and genealogy. I did not do anything. I did some genealogy. And then over here on the 11th, I did the designer mystery block 11. I finished, I did some toffee bars and then I did the nine patch September and my temperature chart. And then I filmed a quilty update on the 18th of March. I did some quilt, I finished the September nine patch. I did a little bit of cross stitch. Uh, this was spring break, okay? And the last time I did anything and updated this was the 19th until um, on Wednesday the 27th, I finished a nine patch. And then I, on the 30th of September, I, of uh, 30th of September, no, the 30th of March, I started, um, so we'll move, continue, we, we will start, um, my Lori Holt stitch cards. I figured I needed something easy that would, I wanted to get done and I would get my juices flowing instead of, um, going on the same things time and time again. So I, I have loved these since they came out. There's actually quilt blocks like these too, and I think I'm gonna get this one and this one um, to hang in here. But I think, I don't know. Um, but I knew I wanted these as one piece, okay? So I started them on the 30th. And here it is, it looks beautiful. My border lined up, and then I started um, this. It goes this way. I started this. Um, and I went, does it go that way? Yeah, it goes that way. You just see it there. Okay, so I started this one and I finished it. Beautiful. Then I went to do this one and it was off. I had too much space. I was like, what's going on? Well, then I looked at the stitch card and the border and I added in all of these, I added an extra stitch. That was a lot to outpick and then I had to outpick that. So I said, screw it. I'm going to restart it. Didn't have that much time. So I said, and I had a lot of linen here. So I was like, okay, I'm going to restart it. So I restarted it on, we started it on Thursday, I think. Thursday or Friday? Thursday. No, Friday. Friday. I started it. And um yesterday i finished it and i am so excited i want to get a frame because i want to hang it in here it is so cute it's five inches so that means this i have no idea what any of this linen is so if it came out five inches this is 28 count linen now this isn't bad for a girl who started um cross stitch back in 2020 on 10 count and i've that I progressed a couple years ago and I wasn't in love, but I said, I love how they look. So I said, let me really try to get into this. Now I have a problem when I stitch on linen. I, actually, when I stitch anything, I like to not have my glasses on to be able to see. I wear contacts, which is why I have readers. But when I'm stitching, I want to be able to see with my own eyes and when I stitch I have no readers no contacts okay I have an 84 inch TV so I can watch TV and still kind of see um, but I like it so now these are done so I'm like, super excited so I had a finish no fully finishes but I had a finish so we'll we'll go there um, then what else have I worked on? The other thing I've worked on pretty steadily is, and I don't think I worked on all this, some of all of this, but I'm gonna show it to you anyway, because it's been a month. Okay, so I have been, I'm caught up through Saturday on my temperature chart. This is a chart from Fat Quarter Shop. I'm going to have to play with the colors a little bit and get a couple of more um, hot, warmer colors because of where we live. This one for the hot temperature, maxes out at 93. So I wanna have a couple shades to go up to about 100, 105 in case we get up there. Last year we got up there. So I wanna have like three or four more colors to extend it a little bit. 
So I worked on that, super great. I love it, it's on 25 count white Lugana, easy stitch. Then I hadn't, I haven't, it says I haven't worked on this, but I probably worked on it one day since I saw you. I didn't get my goal in. And I'm gonna leave off Whipco for today because I'm mad at Whipco because for April it caught, took the same things and I really don't feel like working on them. So I'm probably gonna play with my board and move things around. So this is Rosé to Featherstone from Hands Across the Sea. This was an exclusive to Hobby House Needleworks. I had bought the entire kit because when I saw this, I really loved it. I have been working and this is um, kitted up with um, a conversion to over dies. So I am working on the house. This is platinum 16 count Ada. And I'm working on the house. I blocked off these sections kind of, done these first three windows um, and started another window down here. My goal is to try to get work on the house and get the house finished. Um, because I think once the house is finished, it'll be pretty quick to move on, but I'm loving it. And the house isn't, it's kind of mindless stitching. And once I figured out to block these off a little bit, it really helped. And I also have to look at my um, colors, especially for the house and the, the water lilies, because I'm not sure I have enough because some of it got tangled, whole long story. But there's my hands across the sea. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna actually get, I'm gonna start working on that one again. Because it it's a 16, it's an Ada, it can move. And then I also worked on a little bit, this is called In This House. I don't have a cover picture of it, but I've done a little bit on here. Um, I'm going to New York in the beginning of June and we're going up in my uncle's camper. So I'm thinking I'm bringing Rosé to Featherstone in this to work on because they're Ada and I can work pretty easily on Ada. Um, my problem, I'll tell you what my problem with the Rose Ada Featherstone is, I believe it's Richeld or picture this, I don't, not a fan of the linen, of the Ada. It's really crunchy Ada. This is Be Stitch Me and even though it's opalescent, it's not quite as crunchy. Not a fan of crunchy Ada. The end. Um, so there was that. Um, then yesterday I picked up and I, I say this every time I stitch on it, I love it. And I think this might be a gift for somebody. It depends on when it's finished, if I really want to let it go or not. But the person that I would give it to would super appreciate it. So it may go. My only thing is this is my first over one. So I'm not sure. So that's where I am on that. But the person would love this. This is Annie Bayless from Hands Across the Sea. It's a one color. I love it. Um, so when I picked it up yesterday, and I'd worked on it a couple days. I didn't write it in the book, but I had done the, the Q and the R. I had done the R. So then yesterday I did ST and I started here. And then, okay, I was so scared. You know, this is a 32 count mystery bestitch me, Joblin. I love this color. It's a nice piece. I love the modeling. I love the feel. I love it. And this is a nerd hoop. I really like these. I have. To, I think I'm gonna have to invest in a couple more. Okay. So yesterday, what did I do? You see all oh, this over one. I did those letters and almost all this over one. I did finish the strand today. Before I bring this down anymore, I have to bring this across because it stops there. And after I do this alphabet, I think, I think everything else is over one besides the border. What was I thinking? I've never done over one. Um, for the most part. Everything else is over one until we get to all this with the rice stitch. Now, let me tell you, I have no 
I'm not sure I want the right stitch, but I have no idea how to reach heart to come around and not do it. So it's probably gonna be in there because I don't know how, I'm not that talented. So, but I love this. And it's, it's a quick move, it moves quick. Um, I am using, I don't think I'm using the DMC she said. Four ninety eight. I don't think. No, I'm using eight sixteen. I'm not using four ninety eight. I'm using eight eight sixteen, and I'm not. Sure. This is the amount of DMC I have left, so I'm hoping it's enough. Otherwise, I will have to see if I have another eight sixteen. But I love this, and I love my bag. Did I show you my bag? Most of those are in Amazon bags. I have. A, I'm, I need to make some bags, but this bag was part of one of my swaps. It was made by Amber Johnson. Um, in one of my stitchy swaps. I love it. I love Pioneer Woman, if you know me. So, what else? Well, remember that no spending and I wasn't going to get anything from market and everything? Well, well, who wants to see what, who wants to see what broke that? I will show you what broke that this Nelson Nelson is one of George Washington's horses he is known for having a beautiful white um, horse but this is his other horse and I love this and I love anything patriotic anything from the Revolutionary War period um, so I bought this eh, from Palm Street samplers and because Nothing can travel alone. I bought the Prairie Schooler Santa. So, there was that. Then I was on Cross Stitch Unload and somebody was selling these. So I bought this because I thought it was cool and then Kathy or Missy, one of the girl gals from Two Needles Pulling Thread say, hey, let's do a sew along with something in here. So I've got two in here that I really wanna do, but I think I'm gonna actually gonna start with the one from Primrose Cottage in the back. This thing has like 40 cross stitch tarts free and they range from all different, they're all different designers, all kinds of things. I mean, there was one in here called Taco Cat, come on. So there's this. So this was really cool. Was, I got it for $12, super happy. Um, then what else did I do? Cause I did shop, yeah. Then I'm, I was watching, I was watching Kathy from, the, I was watching Two Needles Pulling Thread. And then I was watching Carrie the Patient Stitcher and they both brought up this magazine, which I had just gotten. And I got it for $5 on Cross Stitch Unload. Cross, under, on the stash and load group. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I'm gonna subscribe to this. And I have to renew my other magazine, which we'll talk about in a second, because they're doing different stuff now. And I gotta show you these. Okay, when I put post-its in, it's stuff I would think I wanna stitch, okay? So, and I'm sure you're all, you've all seen this, but, okay, but, I have like no spring stitching. I didn't even put my spring ray done out this year. I just switched to Memorial Day today, yesterday. Okay, I saw this sampler. How adorable is this sampler? I love samplers. To me, there is something about a sampler that is so relaxing. And then there were a couple other Easter thingies that I bookmarked in here and um, I really like them. Okay, and then, I think it was Kathy. Kathy just showed this in their last um, video. She finished this. She didn't do the border because Kathy doesn't do borders. Um, but I like this. Um, this is Erin Elizabeth. I have done nothing Erin Elizabeth. So I saw this and I was like, oh, I really like that. And not because I haven't seen stuff of Erin Elizabeth's that I don't like. And then Carrie the Patient Stitcher, I had seen this, is this it? 
no it's not, this is not the one she did show this one She showed one by Carolyn Manning. I think it's 21. She must have, I didn't do it, but I have to show it to you anyway because it's really cute. It's really nice. It's just not my particular style. It's a it's and it's um it's a multi part and I don't want to commit to anything huge because as you see I have a lot of samplers going. This one from Carolyn Manning, but I want to show you this one. And I think these are going to be, this is, I'm not sure this is going to be a series or not, but this is a quilt one for spring. I love this. It looks tedious as all heck, but I like it. So there's that. Now I don't, then I also got my last issue for my subscription. So I have to renew it of this. And I love this magazine. Um, there's always like five or six things and I may not stitch them right away, but I go back and I, I think Helen D's got to sell like stitch things for magazines and stuff. So it's a great idea. And I think next year on my Whipco board, I'm going to do things, stitch things for magazines or I'm going to start things. I wasn't going to start because I had a lot, but now I am. Okay. Then what else did I get? Okay. What did I get this with? I got this with something. I didn't buy this just by itself, I don't think. <coughs> I must have other stuff going around. Okay, I bought this. Oh no, maybe I, maybe I did buy this by itself. I might have bought this by itself. So I got the 12 monthly, monthly minis. And I'm going to start this. And I, I am going to start this in... I think I want to start this in June. If I get really energetic in the next day or two. Okay. But I think I'm going to do this like on, this is on, they've done theirs on 32 count light taupe. Well, I can't find light taupe anywhere, but I think I'm going to just see what I have and stash big enough to do these in, on the same count. Um, so this because they measure, they, they finish at 39 by 39, and then I think I'm going to do another dough ball full of pillows with these in them. But I like these. They look like really quick, easy stitches. So, and the other day I went to Hobby Lobby and I bought a bunch of floss for them. Then, what else did I buy? Let me show you what else I bought. Because, you know, things don't, cannot travel alone. Um, so... I bought these. Somebody had showed this one and I have to actually order the floss for this. I was gonna get the DMC, but it means you gotta combine colors. Now, let me tell you, somebody mentioned these on their floss tube. I don't know who it is. Um, and then yesterday I was watching Brenda and the Serial Starter and one of them brought this out and I had just bought it. And I was like, yes, I love the colors of this. And this is a cute little, it's 122 by 118, so it's kind of cute and small. And then it's got this little um, pillow, which is really cute. So this is Little Robin Designs. She has about 12 other ones I want. So, yeah. So I, there's not a lot of, I don't think there's a huge amount of colors, but I'm gonna order these. I'm actually gonna go through and see what I have and then what I need. Then. I have been seeing this all over the place. And the, these I got from the Crafty Grimalkin because Kathy, Two Needles Pulling Thread kept talking about them. This, I got this. Another one on light taupe, but I wanna do this for in here. This is from Erin Elizabeth, it uses DMC. Now I went and bought threads. I had all this stuff written out. For some reason, I don't have all the threads. The only thing I can think of is um, the threads weren't in the containers the right way at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna start this soon. I gotta find a color for this one. And then I also bought these, cause these look so cute. These thread drops. So that's my haul. 
I am back to not really spending again. Um, there, I have, I'm going through and I'm writing lists of a couple things I want, but I have a lot to start. And I want to get into patriotic um, stitching soon. So I want to go through my charts. I might start Nelson, I might not. Because I also have um, a Scarlet House I want a design I want to start. Um, actually, let me see Nelson, what's he got? Oh, Nelson's got a lot of colors. Because for some reason, I want to do this with all the um, over dyes, because I just like him. So, I, and I'll have to get most of them because I have like no week's dye works. I might, yeah. Pine needles I might have and blackbird I might have, right? Cause um, I told you the story of my, um, I told you the story of my classic color works. I, it's in here somewhere, it's in a box or something, but I am gonna have to start rebuilding um, because there are certain things I do want to use over dyes on. I do have some weeks dye work, so I'm going to see what I have. I might start Nelson. How big is Nelson? How big is Nelson? Oh, 124 by 121. Mm, not super large. Large enough. Okay, I have had this in my stash. I said I wanted to start patriotic, so my plans. My plans, I wanna work on Annie Bayless a little bit. I wanna work on Rosetta. I should play with my Whipco board to see what I can do to it so I don't have to do two prairie schoolers because my prairie schoolers are a finish. I had to rebuy thread for that, so now I have to go look. Because if I remember right, I changed my Santa's coat and I lost the, th th so we'll see. I may have to restart the one I'm doing. Okay, so what am I gonna start patriotic wise? This. I've had this for over a year. It's not too big. I don't think I had the, I'm gonna double check that I don't have any of these. Um, Classic Colorex, but I did buy the I did buy the DMCs, but I'm not sure I like this red for this Quaker. I think oh, let me see what I got right here. I have some I have licorice red. What do you use? Cherry cobbler. I don't think I have cherry cobbler, but maybe I, I'll see what I have. But, and then they wanted eggshell, but I might use bamboo because can I tell you how much bamboo I have? Oh, wait, right here I have bamboo, honeycomb. I have lip, I might use this. This is licorice red. That might look better. Oh, this is muddy puddle. I'm gonna look and see. Maybe I'll maybe I'll switch those to these classic color works. Cause I do like me. I think on this one the variegated might look, but it has an American flag in it, so we gotta get some real red in there. Not that. So maybe I'll maybe I'll check these out and play with these. Though I do really like this blue, so we, we shall see. So those are my only plans. I need oh. Oh, oh. So I was gonna tell you we were gonna do a floss toss because this one wants you to use Confederate gray linen and I don't have no Confederate gray, I know that. I might do it on this. I think this is like a 28 on this linen. I like this. That or I could do it on this like white, whitish. But we shall see. Wait, well, but I did have a, see, because the rest of these are just little pieces. So, yeah, I'm not going to do it. I think I'm going to do it on this because I really like this one. And this is a really small, I think it's only like, if I do this on a 28 count, I think it's only like a four by six. Because on a, I did put a 20 count Ada in and it was only like two and a half by four and a half. So it's not going to be super big. 
So I think I'm gonna try that. So those are my plants. And hopefully it will not be a month before I come back. Oh, I asked a question on my Instagram, but I'll ask it here again. Um, what are your favorite um, linen and Lugana colors for neutrals? I like neutrals. Um, I've decided crazy colors don't are not my favorite. So what are your favorite um, linen colors and dyers and whatever? Um, I will talk to you all soon. Hopefully it won't be a month. We're going into the last month of school, so I don't know. Hopefully I keep my stitching bug going and I will talk to you all soon. Please like, subscribe, and do all the YouTube things. And thanks, when we get to 500, I'm gonna do a little bit giveaway. We're about 50 away. So I hope to see you all soon. Bye-bye.